Hey guys, this is David from Nano Tanks Australia here. I uh, just want to showcase to you just a little setup that um, I did um, in the next last few days. So um, we basically had one of these extra tanks and um, my wife has um, graciously let me have another tank in the house. So um, initially this tank was going to be for an Oscar that was in the shop but unfortunately that got um, went to a good home so what I did is I decided to put strips in this tank um, so so what we did is we're going to convert this tank into a um, shrimp and um, rare plant um, uh, tank right now so um, as you can see, we got some um, fish of landers, um here in the foreground. I'm going to be getting some of the rarer plants for the background as well. Um, but also, um, in terms of fish, what we've got is we've got crystal reds and we've got the tangerine tigers as well. So they're quite uh, relatively quite young. Um, as you can see, you can see some of the marks on the glass that's here. So this these guys, um, these this shrimps are going to be relatively young um, comparatively. However, um, um, as time goes on and as they get older and this system matures, they will um, grow very very healthily as well so um, just to show you also the parts of this tank so we've decided to use the Aquel Lady lights that we had in the shop as well so this tank these lights are really really good but unfortunately if you only have one it's oops, um, unfortunately if you only have one it's not one of the best um, lights because it does not have the area for it so with this I decided to get two for a 60 cm tank um, also what I did is I put in a quite a large sponge filter that was also in the house um, of course the largest sponge area or the largest sponge is actually better for a tank like this and it also provides a, um, a, a some cover for the shrimps to go to and they can also forage into it as well. In terms of the substrate, what we use is the Oliver Knot Aqua Earth soil that we have on special in the shop at the moment. So um, for those of you who are looking to get something like this, then this is the best and easiest way to get around that. Um, so the Aqua Earth soil, you don't need to wash it, you don't need to do anything like that. You can just throw it in and um, off it goes. So this tank has been aged for about seven days um, just to kickstart the, um, the process going. Um, as you can see there's no fish in the, in the tank and we just put in these um, shrimps in. Um, so these shrimps um, they do need a bit of uh, TLC so TDS needs to be um, 120 to 180 and um, GH at about 6 to 8 um, so that they can thrive in. Um, so there you go guys, uh, over the course of the next few weeks we are going to um, look at this tank um, and see how they're going. Um, over in this corner over here we're going to do a bit of a rock pile. So. Uh, um, a rock pile is great for shrimps because the babies can actually go into it um, and live into it. And what we're going to use is we're going to use marine pure balls um, and marine pure cubes because they have got the um, chemical and biological filtration, especially for the aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Um, so there you go guys, um, we're probably going to also, we're also hatching um, C. constantiae, so, um, which is a kili, an annual kili, um, and see if they will hatch. Um, but there you go guys, um, 
thanks for watching this video I know it's a really really quick video um, but hopefully you guys would be part of the journey um, and see this tank grow and develop in the next coming months and years to come thanks a lot and have a great night